Hey there everyone, this is Phil White. I am a graduate assistant in the Department of Library and Information Studies here at UNCG. I'm going to tell you a little bit about fusion tables and, and uh, prepare you for a couple of more tutorials you're going to be uh, watching that I've created on using Google Fusion Tables to do some basic uh, geographic information systems operations. Google Fusion Tables is a, a great tool for visualizing and uh, mapping large amounts of data. And if you're interested in learning about GIS, uh, Google Maps and Google Fusion Tables are a great starting point to dip your toes in and uh, you can do some some pretty interesting things in Google Fusion Tables. Google Maps is great too. The the advantage of Google Fusion Tables for creating a, a GIS map is that you can handle more data and you can do some a little bit more GIS operations that you can't do in regular old Google Maps. So let me get started real quick on showing you how to how to access Google Fusion Tables. You will need a Google account and your UNCG email has a Google account but it didn't work for me using Fusion, Fusion Tables whenever I use my UNCG account so go ahead and use just a regular Google account. If you have a Gmail account you already have one. Once you get that set up you can uh, access it by going to the Drive button and loading your Google Drive. And the first thing you're going to do is uh, press this Create button. And it will give you some some apps here that you can do in Google Drive. And the first thing you're going to need to do is connect the Google Fusion Tables app to your Google Drive. So after clicking on the Create button, go down here to the bottom and click on connect more apps on this page go ahead and type into the search bar Google Fusion table search for that and you'll find Google Fusion tables and click on the connect button and it'll tell you you've done it and then click OK now, when you go over to the Create button and, and press it, you'll find your Google Fusion Table app has been connected, and you can go ahead and start using it. And that's going to be about it for this video. This is a really short one. Um, in the next video, we'll start loading some data, the data that you should have already downloaded uh, from the Census Bureau and from the uh, IMLS and we'll start making some some tables and eventually some pretty nifty little maps with Google Fusion tables. Uh, that's all for this one. Your next demo I'll show you how to uh, import data. Okay.